trail. You know, there's certain things, certain times down here on the allotment that it's kind of what makes it worthwhile. And today is one of those days, and I'm going to show you why. Because these are some of the onions, and these are the last few. I'll show you the rest in a minute. And as you can see, they're really firm in the ground. So when you pull it, it's like that. And that's all lovely, as is that one. Now, as is that one, it's a white one. Ah. However, sometimes you tap an onion and it moves and you think, hello. And it's got this little, the roots have all rotted off on that one. And bearing in mind that was next to another one which didn't get it, so I'm not quite sure. It's a, a root rot. I can't remember the exact name. I'll try and uh, look it up. I think it's called basil root rot, but I'm not sure. So that onion immediately is usable because I can, as are all this lot because they've all got the same they've got that white fungus growing on the bottom of them and the roots have all rotted off so they don't hold in the ground this lot however is a different matter so this is what makes it all worthwhile there's enough onions there to keep me going I don't know probably certainly in September October those ones over there, the ones that have got the root rot, I'm going to take home later today and I'll chop them and I'll stick them in a fry pan and just fry them off a little bit, put them in pots, stick them in the freezer. So for things like casserole stews, that sort of thing, they'll be fine. Onions do go a bit watery when they've um, been frozen. But uh, hey, so today it's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a busy one down here dug some potatoes and of course we've got the customary runner beans have to have the runner beans there's not really much else to report so I'll just leave you with that view of the butterflies and the runner beans these are French climbing French beans it's uh, not quite ready yet they're a little way behind and we've got some purple beans in there as well so uh, we're always going to some nice potatoes coming on there. Just wanted to show you my figs before we went. So the figs are doing okay. Not quite ready yet. A couple of weeks, a couple of weeks of sunshine, which we seem to have been a bit short of. But the tree's looking good, and my toad flax is looking spectacular, and it's still attracting the bees. So uh, courgette's doing pretty good, taking the sides off that. Strawberries all finished now. So uh, there you go. Okay, have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you again soon.